Hey guys, welcome to Emotionless Crypto Trading video series and today we're going to learn how to trade with whales and profit on Poloniex or any other cryptocurrency exchange out there. So we're all looking to make quick profits or even speculate a market because that's all about when it comes down to trading with whales that's what they do they used to speculate the market they used to move the market increase the price with the high investments and then get out as quickly as possible in the right time so the entry and the exit is always good i mean always good for this guys because they used to trade with tens of thousands of dollars and that's not just an average person out there trading all around i mean people who used to trade like that are experienced that's why trading with whales sounds very very profitable if you know when you should get in which is not so difficult and when you should get out which is not as difficult as well so uh, trading like that is acceptable and more even um, affordable for beginners you know beginners i mean average people who at least understand the charts understand the candlestick and understand how the market works by the emotional part so uh, by the way we're going to have two examples today of the very recent altcoins that uh, offered us the chance to join with the whales now uh, I've been able to figure out when they join when these whales have joined the market when they have deposited and all that stuff so uh, we're going to see that over the next few seconds now before we're going to do that I wanted to show you a couple of rules that you have to keep in mind when you want to trade with whales so what you have to look after now here we have a couple of rules rule number one up to rule number five rule number one serious cryptocurrency with strong market cap no shitty business it must be a serious cryptocurrency guys a strong market cap and a serious cryptocurrency can be found in the coinmarketcap.com this is the place you can see the rankings and you can find details of the market cap for any coin out there so you want to see serious numbers out there you want to see supply volume price and market cap which needs to be a serious number out there so um, as you may know there are around 700 cryptocurrencies out there resisted on coin market cap which is a lot now out of those 700 I would consider as serious uh, I don't know not even 30 not even 30 in my opinion are serious and uh, that worth the risk of taking advantage of the whales probably the whales are not even going that way and I would actually suggest you to look after a market cap of at least a hundred million th dollars right that means uh, bit shares already qualifies for that in my opinion bit shares is you know as you may see over a hundred million dollars in uh, market cap that used to qualify for a strong uh, market cap stress strong value so no shitty coins no shitty business because those might be volatile and might be uh, a scam when it comes down to for example we're going down scrolling down and uh, we're just seeing for now the first 100 cryptocurrencies but I'm gonna click on all and I'll show you something else I'll show you very very volatile and I might show you some negative examples in this video as well but you know you see all these coins out there I can scroll down and I can show you a like up to 700 let's see exactly how many coins are out there look 825 coins at the moment resistor on coin market cap so that's a lot and 
many of them for example look at this look at these numbers this one is 306 percent volatile has an increase in the last 24 hours which is a lot now you don't care about any of these coins unless you want to risk your money and probably lose everything you're searching for a market cap of at least 100 million dollars that is right here starting from beat shares uh, place or rank number 18 as you may see well obviously bitcoin is almost there decrease is almost there factum is almost there which is a very very serious uh, altcoin uh, waves is almost there now by the time they will all reach a hundred million dollar and it will qualify for that now obviously even if it's a little bit uh, under a hundred million they might still qualify depends on the project behind the coin so what is that coin actually what kind of problem is that coin solving in the market you have to be informed in the coin you're going in so uh, rule number two the volume must be at least must be at least guys half a million dollars volume can be easily seen right here again on coin market cap volume for the last 24 hours that's what we're talking about so at least half a million dollar now i feel like uh, any of this qualify because they used to have more than you know a few millions sometimes hundreds of millions of dollars in the last 24 hour as volume so uh depends but I'm suggesting you guys to look after this rule because it's very important. Like I said, you might see coins having a increase of 200% over the last 24 hours and a market volume of, I don't know, $100,000 or not even maybe $50,000, which means nothing, right? It's not a place to go in this one has 40 percent increase in the last 24 hours and 644 volume which is extremely low now this percent my might create you an emotion and might give you an information you should deposit into but this probably this uh coin has not enough power to sustain the market and the whales are not actually the guys you're looking after so are not exactly those whales you're looking after when it comes down to a volume of 644 bucks which is nothing in the market now this is the second rule right uh, the third rule non volatile in the last period now I'm going to show you that on coin G right Here's a good example of a non-volatile uh, currency out there, which is the NEM cryptocurrency, uh, Marwit XEM on Poloniac. So this is the non-volatile period that you might be searching before a volatile period, right? This is what you actually need. This is something similar, right, of a period where you can accumulate for long term in some cases but now this is what you're searching and this is what the whales are looking after you have to think like them you have to put yourself in their position and you have to understand the market from their view of point right that's the only way you can get in with them and get out as well with them because it's just just like uh, putting in money in the cryptocurrency where you see the wheels are jumping in right now and then you don't know when to exit it's, that's gonna cut your profits and it's not the same making I don't know 500 bucks or 900 bucks in 15 minutes or 30 minutes because that's the way it used to be when it comes down to uh, high volatile markets that used to grow extremely fast and then obviously slow down and decrease in price used to 
create the V formula that you might see everywhere. So you want to see a non volatile period before the huge price increase. That's what the what the wave whales are looking for a non volatile period, which is perfect, right? This one right here pointing down on Coinigy chart analysis market website, you can head over Coinigy and see exactly the same thing. So heading over another example, which is the uh, Bitcoin SDR on Poloniex market cap. Now again, we have a quite non volatile period right here. All right, so it's quite non volatile. I mean, uh, you know, not, not even here, I wouldn't consider it volatile comparing on what happened and how the way the market has looked like. So it still fits to the situation we're looking for. I mean, the whales will come in very, very soon. You'll see that over the next few minutes where the whales have came in and what were the exactly reasons why they came in. So I've jumped in and I speculated market. I made some good profits out there just by uh, being able to read the charts, right? Having the patterns and having the informations of those guys when they used to enter and then those guys I'm talking about whales when they used to get out. So here we have another example guys rule number four. I mean, not an example. It's actually a rule high market trades. Now for high market trades, you might want to head over Poloniex and see for market trades for that you have to be on the coin you're looking to trade, you're looking to get in. You want to choose the coin, you want to scroll down and you want to see the market trades. You want to see people buying more than selling. That's the rule number one. This is the live market trades. So this is what's happening live actually right now, second by second. So you want to see obviously more people buying than selling. And then you want to see uh, high volumes. You want to see people trading on a couple of bitcoins you know you might see people buying for 20 30 40 bitcoins people buying for three four five bitcoins so you want to see this type of trades and then you might see a trade of i've seen people buying with 50 bitcoins i knew that was a whale coming in and then he sold probably you know later on when the price started to decrease because that's the way they used to speculate the market. They used to keep their trades live and open for as much as it's needed in order to profit a good percent. Now, a good percent when it comes down to speculation means anywhere between 3% up to as much as you want you know, 25, 30, it's even possible to reach those kind of numbers. And uh, I know that in some cases, some of these guys trading with high volumes, I have a couple of friends doing that, uh, have, have been able to put their trades up to 30%. Really, really depends on the situation to the others. So there's no exactly uh, percent you should focus on. Now, another important thing, like I said, market trades, you want to look at the history, very recent history, you want to see people buying on huge bitcoins, you want to see people spending a lot, right? And you want to see those whales coming in purchasing with 20, 30, 40, 50 bitcoins in a chunk, right? So that's the way it works. That's why the price has an extremely high increase in a very, very short period of time. Now, the next rule is the speculation. Obviously, you got to understand this, but the rule is actually by setting yourself a goal on speculating the fear of missing out. That's FOMO, the fear of missing out. People used to buy with these whales, but they are not used to sell with them. They're not used to sell when the uh, 
price is still increasing. The idea is to buy when the whales are coming in and try to sell when the price is still increasing or when you see the rejection is actually marking the line with the support and it's not gonna get anywhere higher so the rejection is becoming more powerful and the price starts to decrease that's the point when these wheels are selling when the price starts to decrease dramatically that's why you have to use alerts you have to be here concentrate and look always for the market trades when the price comes down it should come extremely quickly so you have to be there able to trade right away if you want to speculate a market or by the way you should use stop limit feature that will allow you to save a certain percent of profit that you have set for yourself so basic rules and these are not the only ones there are more depending on the situation but this ones are the basic rules that you have to keep in mind when it comes down to speculating the market with the whales which are also speculating the fear of missing out right so people used to trade based on that emotion which is very bad in my opinion you're not able to make profits long term by being a person uh, with a fear of missing out and trading like that is going to uh, bring you down uh, so yeah getting back to coinig i wanted to show you when you realize the whales are coming in so here we have again the uh nam uh cryptocurrency which is this one uh mark with x e m and the name of it is nam that's what we're talking about in the coinig right now so uh, this is the perfect time to see it's not volatile then what you see you see a huge volume and support coming in a short little rejection level which actually makes no difference but then after another high support level comes in with a little rejection level that proves the rejection is not enough because it's the second rejection level beat it by the support level is the first rejection level beat it and here's the second rejection level sorry i mean let me just add it you know sorry sorry about that here's the first one and here's the second rejection level right that's uh beat it by the support level so that's already a proof people are open to go ahead and purchase there's no other rejection level coming in probably which also happened as you may see after that the price started to take off now this is the right position to get into with the whales this one is the right position the one i wanted to mark you know this one with the one i'm playing right now that little circle over there that's the right position to get into with the whales and from there obviously you have the fear of losing your profits when the rejection reaches over there and the price starts to decrease now what you want to do is you want to look for the market trades for the history you want to look for the stop limit feature that you can use and in this case what i've done is i've sold my altcoin obviously at this point right here this is the rejection that proves is higher than the support of the market so the price is going to decrease and some of the wheels are getting out now more people came in support level was already reaching higher right so the rejection basically the guys who sold and the rejection level of this chart over here are the ones who purchased to speculate a market are the ones who purchased down here anywhere down here those are the guys selling higher right so those are the guys speculating the market for profits of five percent ten percent three percent seven percent doesn't really matter as long as they trade with 
thousands of dollars and they speculate for a couple of hundreds or even a thousand two thousand dollars depends on the percent but they are the guys selling at dead points the other ones are used to keep for a longer period also the guys with the fear of missing out they used to buy continuously they used to purchase and purchase when the price is increasing and also sell right away when they see a little decrease and in their price which is also again another bad habit for long term so getting back to our business here we have another point when the whales are getting in and that's another proof because of the last rejection level that has been covered by the support level right away which has taken off to a huge price this is the place where the whales have got into and then we don't see any type of major rejection level up to uh, almost 9,000 satoshis so you might buy into 6,700 satoshis and sell anywhere up to the first powerful or at least decent rejection level this was a high trade this was the place where you could pull in at least 12 15 percent profit on a trade of five thousand dollars means quite a lot and that's in a short period of time right so after that guys like i said you want to sell when the price is still increasing but uh, the possibility of seeing the rejection level increasing is also opening your eyes to make your uh, trade and sell your speculation right this is the first example we're heading over the next example which is BTC with SDR which is Tellar right actually at the moment it's increasing and it has a plus 70% uh, change over the last 24 hours on Poloniax. A huge, huge, huge volume, guys. Let me go back to Coin Market Cap and show you the volume of Stellar. It has a huge volume. Where are you, Stellar? There you go. 355 58 million dollars in volume over the last 24 hours. 358 million dollars i guess that's the second one ranked after bitcoin yeah well that's true it's the second one ranked after bitcoin in volume you see this coin is perfect for the whales and it qualifies on the rules i have told you so rule number one serious cryptocurrency it's actually serious it has a huge huge market cap of almost 400 million dollars then uh, it has an amazing project behind this coin so real people behind it a real business the volume is way over half a million dollars it's actually 400 million dollars it's it wasn't volatile I'll show you that high market trades were there and obviously you're speculating the fear of missing out which is the rule of speculating and not holding for long term when you're buying with the whales because the v formula is always showing up right so when the price is increasing dramatically it used to come down in the same way and that's making you lose money that's why you always want to sell on the increase when you see the rejection level is getting closer and closer to the support level of the market right now um, yeah here's the example guys uh, this is what I wanted to show you uh, we already have talked about the non volatile period of the stellar and uh, we have seen an increase right after that so some of the guys have entered at this point but they used to wait for a little rejection level as little as possible or as average decent as possible and there we go guys here we see the first rejection level 
that has been covered by the support right away and then obviously wills are coming in because that's the moment guys that's the moment if the support takes over the rejection level right away and the price starts to take off people are having the fear of missing out problem they buy they buy they buy wills are coming in with tens of thousands of dollars they buy and then they sell high speculating the market that's what i've done this is the point actually i bought at 2250 satoshis and i've sold at 3150 satoshis right now that's a difference of 900 satoshis in profit 900 satoshis in profit is from 3150 is 28 percent profit based on the uh, value now 28 percent profit of three thousand five hundred dollars worth of trade means 980 bucks profit guys and i was able to take that in a very very uh short period of time now obviously i use the stop limit feature in an advanced way as i see the price increasing i used to change my stop limit uh order and uh, increase the margin and percent of my profit right increase it increase it and increase it then when i've seen the rejection level comes bigger and bigger i've seen those wills starting to sell and starting to get out i was taking my way and also you know pulling out my profit so i was keeping myself on a 28 percent profit which is huge it's one of the biggest profits i've been able to make by speculating the market with the wills sometimes i'm able to make five percent three percent doing this sometimes there are no wills coming in and you're not speculating the market with them which is not the topic for our video today but however making a profit like that seems easy right now after you see the charts i'm not gonna say that uh, but however, hopefully by following my rules, my guides and my help in from this video, you're able to uh, figure out from now when these wells are getting into also understand the market as much as possible in order to uh, be able to speculate remember it's all about speculation make sure you set up your goals make sure you know what you want make sure you have a plan when you get into with the wheels and it's not for long term right it's just speculating you want to be active in that period you want to look for numbers set up alerts and make sure you're prepared to sell your investment anytime anytime guys because nobody is going to wait on you if the price starts to decrease if the rejection level covers the support level and you can see that obviously from the charts you don't want to lose your time on thinking and believing that oh it's going to pick up again because you might end up in uh, wasting your money and then losing right so yeah that's kind of everything guys for now in today's video presentation that's kind of everything so uh feel free to subscribe on my youtube channel if you would like to join my private coaching program you have a link in the description area of this video presentation and i guess that's kind of all about feel free to drop your messages in the comments area and i see you next time